my name is Raj and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, at the end of the video, if you enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the bell so that you may be notified whenever I post a video. In today's video, I'm going to show you five different bags that I thrifted, um, which I'm really excited to show you because I've never been a bag lover. Um, it's, a, it's a recent obsession. Um, I've always been the kind of girl who carries everything in her pocket. I never really walked around with bags simply because I don't really like being uh, uncomfortable and I always associated bags with discomfort because I feel like it's an extra thing that you're carrying around and I just like being free and uh, yeah. But lately, for some reason, I've been into them. So obviously because I'm now into them, when I go thrifting, now I look into the bag section. I have thrifted five different bags that I absolutely love and I'm here to show it to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. The first bag I'm going to show you is this absolutely stunning guest bag. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. I mean, at this point, guess is vintage anyway <laughs> because I don't even know if they still have a store. When you go to Valley Village, you'll find a lot of guest bags. They're literally there like basically every day. I believe it cost me about $14.99. The reason why I was drawn to this bag is because when I go to Valley Village, I find a lot of guest bags, but all of them were very loud and absolutely ugly. <laughs> so yeah, when I saw this one and the fact that it was just a plain, simple black bag that wasn't that didn't have all these crazy uh, graphics and stuff and also I don't like when the guest logo is splattered all over the bag I find it absolutely obnoxious so this one it was just a very tiny G here um, and I like that it's gold also I'm not much, much of a gold person but lately I've been trying to change from silver to gold so it's good to have things that have gold accents so it's easier to accessorize and also the stitching on this bag Bag is absolutely stunning um, it goes all around the bag it's almost like fait à la main I don't know how to say fit à la main <laughs> handmade I guess but it doesn't sound as cute uh, in English but anyways it's very fait à la main and it's sturdy it looks small but it holds a lot of things like when I wear this bag is because I want to not only look cute but also be able to carry things um, so usually I wear it like this and yeah it's just the cutest little thing I'm really into bags that are just like small because when I put a bag on the shoulder like this as opposed to having like those big big ass bags I completely forget that I'm actually carrying it because it's so it's just so like weightless and small and so yeah I hope you guys like this bag because I absolutely love it the second bag I'm about to show you is this one look how beautiful it is it is so sturdy the reason why I got it is because like it was so sturdy it makes it look more expensive than like a flimsy bag so I like the structure of this bag um, it's it's it just looks really good quality and it's from the brand Max, which I have not seen in a long time. Yeah, I don't think they have that store anymore, so I don't know if they're like out of business. But I remember the store had really good quality things, and so I was really happy and excited when I saw how new and absolutely amazing quality this bag was. And since I'm really into the browns and the beiges, um, this was just a steal. And the accent here is—it's not—it's not like for any functional. Uh, reasons it's just aesthetics but I think it adds a little bit je ne sais quoi <laughs> to this bag and I absolutely love it and yeah I haven't to be quite honest I haven't worn it yet just because like I haven't had an opportunity because we're all on lockdown again but the minute I have an opportunity to wear this you best believe you best believe that I will the next bag I'm about to show you um, the inspiration came from when I found this bag at Winners. This is my favorite bag right now. Like, oh, like, do you understand? Like, it's the best thing ever. It's so cute. It's so flat. Like, I completely forget that I'm, I'm holding a bag, which is 
what I look for when I'm like when I buy a bag, I want a bag that's like easy to carry around, so it's not like an extra thing that I have to like think about. So yeah, when I saw this bag and I got it, I became obsessed with bags. So this is what started it all. So when I went to Talese and I saw it's twin basically, but this is like a crossbody, but it's the same. It's also Calvin Klein. It's very sturdy. Like I just get really sturdy bags. Um, it's very roomy. Um, obviously crossbody, so you can wear it like this. I haven't been wearing a lot of crossbodies lately, simply because I've been really obsessed with like baguettes, baguette bags. I guess because they're in style, but also because I just think like the whole short bag just like elevates your 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 look. And this, it's cute, but like it's so like like three years ago I don't know but it's so cute so obviously hence the reason I got it so this next bag I got simply because of the color I was looking for something quote-unquote nude even though this is beige for me um, but yeah I was looking for something nude and I found this and it was like $3.99 I don't even know where it's from because it doesn't it do oh it has a name it has a name it is from Madison West. Oh. Anyways, so it's a crossbody once again. I'm gonna try to go back so you can see it. It's a crossbody. Again, I'm not really into crossbodies right now, but I know it's like a timeless thing. So and it's cute. So I know I'm, I'm definitely going to wear it. <laughs> Just not today. And it's very simple, like nothing exciting about it. But um, yeah. You guys are probably gonna make fun of me for this next bag, but um, I love it. <laughs> um, so it's this very grandma looking bag. <laughs> it's 100% leather, I believe. It's from Jessica. It looks very flimsy, but it's not. It's very sturdy. It's just like a very soft leather, which has gold wiring. And uh, it's from Jessica. Again, I don't know if it's Jessica Simpson, but it's the brand that they sell at the bay. The reason, the only reason why I don't like this this bag, it's very spacious, and I'm pretty sure most people would love this feature, but I detest this feature because, like I said, I don't have a lot of things that I carry in my bags. So I have like one, two, or three things, and this bag has like a hundred pockets inside, and my things always get lost in it because I like I hate looking for things, so I'm always like opening different pockets. It's so spacious. It's not a crossbody, I think. Oh, I guess I guess it could be. Oh my god. I guess it could be. But that's not how I wore it last time I wore it. Last time I wore it, I just wore it like this with some jeans and a white tee because I'm a very jeans and white tee kind of girl. Um, so yeah, it's very granny, but it's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe, I love it. And it has this huge pocket right here that basically is a whole wallet. Like, this bag is just, it's just huge, which I know a lot of people love big bags and they love bags that have many pockets, but for me, it's just a lot. It's just too much. But anyways, that's actually the reason why I got it, so I don't know why I'm complaining. So this next bag is very 2000s, and you either like it if you're into that trend, or you hate it, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> when I showed my best friend this, she was like, what the fuck is that bag? And I was like, what? It's so cute because it's so cute and it's 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 nude. It's closer to like, it's beige, but it's like closer to the kind of nude I'm looking for. I don't know where it's from. It's such a good quality bag. Oh, it's from a brand called Wilson's Leather. So I'm guessing it's leather. It has a lot of pockets. You can tell it's an old bag because it has like a pocket for those like phones we used to have back in the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, my phone's not fit in there. And it has like some kind of wallet features where you can put your cards, you can put your coins. It has a lot of space for such a small bag and I'm really into it. It reminds me of like the kind of bags that I see at the thrift shop that are usually guest branded. Uh, I know I said they were ugly, 
but this one is a vibe. <laughs> so anyways, that is it for the bags that I have, that I've thrifted. Um, let me know what you think. <laughs> I know these kind of bags are not everybody's cup of tea, but like I said, um, honestly, I don't really know how to define my style. It's very girly yet uh, boyish and then just weird. So if you're into that, please subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!